Hey everybody, we're in Wichita, Kansas. We're gonna head over to Oliver Sports Cards. He's got a sports card show going on there right now. Now I wanna find out, is this Chiefs Kingdom or is this Raider Nation? I'm dying to find out. Follow me, should be a lot of fun. Vince, the owner, uh, you have a card show every other month. You were saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. We try to do we try to do five or six a year. Um, obviously, January is a tough month with winter, so we don't do one there. But, yeah. Uh, you know, we're just wrapping up this one uh, for now. So our next one will be uh, Black Friday weekend. Yeah. Um, so that Saturday, Sunday after Black Friday, we always we always try to do a good one. Uh, we have a huge sale here in store on Black Friday. Um, I think last year we had 40 something people waiting at the door yeah. you know, when we opened and then we have the show on the Saturday, Sunday and just have some fun. Cool. I know I met you in Kansas City. So you've been in the hobby now for about this entering your fourth decade? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah 30, you've been in the national. You said you missed, you missed like one you said, right? Missed one since 1996. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. So just, we just play yeah. and have fun. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, thank you so much for letting me come out, check out the store. Yeah. This is such a cool building you got here and a cool. Hey, thanks for coming down and, yeah. and, and hanging out with us for, for a sure. While. Yeah, had a fun time. Thank you good, so much, man. Good. Thanks so much, Vince. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, Wichita Card Show. I'm here with Andre. Andre, when did you start collecting? When did you get into the hobby? Um, I started collecting when I was a kid. Okay. Um, and then I left the hobby for a number of years, and I came back about two years ago, just shy of two years ago. Okay. 
Who did you collect when you started collecting uh, cards? Uh, when I very first started, I collected Jason Kidd. Okay. And now I collect. I still I still do collect Jason Kidd. Uh -huh. But I remember that year that he came out. Grand Hill came out in the same year. Yes. So I know when I was looking through packs, I was looking for the Grand Hill cards. You were looking for the Jason Kidd cards. Yeah, I okay. For Jason Kidd. The, uh, some of the boxes here. Guess who I pulled? I pulled the Robert Covington. Well, I didn't really pull it. You found it from. You knew you had it in your collection. So, hey man, thank you so much. Like, I got such a good deal on this card. He could have jacked up the price. I was willing to pay top dollar for this card. But thanks for the deal, Andre. I appreciate course, it. Yeah, I appreciate it's my it. Pleasure. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I'm here with my buddy Gavino. Gavino, you got to, we were talking. I see you're a wrestling fan. Big wrestling. Yeah. So if I had to ask you your Mount Rushmore of pro wrestling, who would those four athletes be? Ooh, Mount Rushmore. That'd be Undertaker because he's been through all the areas. Great, great guy. And you told me he's probably the guy that you're like the most he's like yeah. one of your big i look up to him the most yeah i grew up with him basically yeah uh the next two would be stone cold and the rock just because like they had great chemistry together yeah so from the attitude era yeah the attitude era were perfect so okay so like we got undertaker stone cold the rock who's the fourth guy fourth guy yeah, it would be from this era so i would have to give it to kenny omega he's kenny really omega wow right so john cena in case you were wondering you didn't make the rock you didn't make the list Yeah, I'm really it's excited nice. to meet the dealers and you know yes. come out here and see what makes yep. the, the hobby thrive, which is you guys. So yes. he pulled this card back in 2000. Back in 2000. And I bet when you pulled this card, he was you weren't ex you weren't excited as you were about pulling that exactly. card. Look at the card that he was really excited about pulling. Yeah, these are he some was, of the autographs and stuff. You were probably yeah, stoked about that Drew Bledsoe card. Yeah, because it's numbered to 74. Yeah, but. I got a buddy too who, when he started collecting back then, mm -hmm. he was looking for Bledsoe. He wasn't looking for Brady. So yes. that is such a cool card. And that the fact that you pulled it and you've held yeah. on to it, is that a yeah. card that's for sale? Uh, actually, I've had some offers up to 4000 for okay. it, but I've held on to it. Yeah. Eventually, I'll probably sell it. But... He has seven Super Bowls. Yes. Is he going to get number eight this year? He could. Are you a Kansas City Chiefs fan? I'm, a Ch I'm more of a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, but okay. I'm also a Mahomes fan. There's a lot of Pittsburgh Steelers fans out there. They, yes. tra they travel everywhere. So. Yes, that's the last game me and my son went to. Okay. It was a birthday present gift, Yeah. and we went and watched the Steelers at Kansas City. Oh, nice. Two or three years ago. Okay. Very nice. Hey, man, thank you for sharing your collection. What was your name? Pat. 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 Dre. Jordan. We're checking out his collection. So I see you're a Chiefs fan. I am. Yes. I saw like as one of your neighbors is an Oakland Raider or a Los Angeles Raider yes. uh, fan. Did, was there any tension? No, you guys setting no up tension. or? I think he knows. I think it, we have a, a, a nice relationship. Cause okay. He knows he'll probably give me good deals on any Chiefs he has. Uh, the, the high dollar card that I have is a Raiders card. Yeah. Wow. Now he has. I'm still trying to get him to bite on that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, who is that? Who is uh, that? It's Henry Ruggs. Henry it's Ruggs. Receiver from 2020. Okay. Um, it's a two of two, so it's got the Nike patch. And yeah. The um, but yeah, it's yeah. it's about about two thousand dollars. Wow, right so, so cool. It still doesn't quite touch the the, the Brady that we just saw earlier, or whatever. But yeah, yeah. so yeah. cool. I mean, it's so cool to see father and sons, you know, in the hobby together and yeah. having the same passion. Yeah, he's kind of been been in it all my life. I mean, as a kid, yeah. I remember him doing it. He has. Uh, our house has a card room in wow. it because we've just got so much, so many cards and yeah. stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm starting to kind of get back into it within the last year. Yeah, so, um, and it's really taken off with social media. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I've even started a 
uh, Facebook group with okay. ICT Sports Cards. Let me so see. Feel free to look at that. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, we're mainly on Facebook, but we do have Twitter and Insta Instagram okay. as well. Um, and yeah, we've there's been people that have made trades and, and sales cool. on the group. Um, we've even started doing a few box breaks. Nice. Stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, once we get to 300 members, which hopefully by the end of this show will be about 300 members, um, hopefully we can do, we'll do a giveaway once we get to 300. Okay. And hopefully just keep trying to continue. Now, is that just local that you, if you could sign up or could somebody in Minnesota no, sign all up? All over. There's okay. With me being from Great Bend, I've got people from Great Bend in the okay. group. There's, of course, a lot of local people that makes okay. it easy. People have met up and done local trades and sales okay. and stuff. But no, people from all over the globe okay. can sign up and it's just on the Facebook group and we'll, yeah. I'm Anybody gonna sign up. I'll be I'll be signing up, so yeah, sure add join. me. Yeah. yeah. Well thank you so much. Thank you for letting us look at your collection. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm here with the number one Raiders fan. Raiders? Yeah. Nation. So, what week do the Raiders and Chiefs play? Do you know? Uh, I don't know, but it'll be a loss for the Chiefs. Really? What about when the Raiders come into Arrowhead? Then what's going to happen? Didn't we win last year against? Uh, the, the, the division rivals, yeah. Yes. So, so the Raiders just have our number, huh? We do. Yeah. We do. So Marty has a side gig. Tell us a little bit what you do on the side over here, Marty. Uh, well, I, Besides you know, being the number one Raiders fan in the nation. I make appearances every once in a while at yeah. you know, Comic-Cons or Sporting Goods Store. Yeah. So we, I'm at Olive, uh, yeah, Oliver's. Yeah, store. look what we just picked up. We picked up the Pirate Sword. He personalized it for us. Raider look at that, nation. Raider Nation. Thank, and it's not Raider, it's Raider Nation. Nation. Yeah, yeah. nation. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate no it. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate it. By. Yeah. Hey everybody, that was a lot of fun. Special shout out to Marty Kleba. He was a real sport. He personalized this sword for me. Number one Raiders fan here in Chiefs Kingdom. Anyhow, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for future videos. Till next time, from the top of my heart, thanks for watching.